everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm Luke, this is Orange is my new green. Um, haven't done a lot of snow blowing videos because we haven't had any snow. Mostly rain and some pretty mild weather. But I'll show you a clip of uh, what it still looks like here. But uh, we got maybe an inch or two since yesterday, when they, fluffy snow. And uh, I'm just going to leave it there and uh, drive over it because I lost all my face with all the mild weather we got. So um, I thought I'd do a video because probably based on my intro, you're probably wondering what I, what I got. And it's well hidden behind my sticker. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to inside and uh, we'll go over some stuff that uh, you might find interesting. So uh, let's go upstairs. Whoa, <laughs> that's a hard landing. <laughs> All right, still have my coat on. So let me take this off and uh, we'll set everything up. So, like I mentioned earlier in the garage, uh, we haven't had a lot of snow. And uh, I kind of miss starting my tractor and getting that smell of diesel. Ah, diesel. Bibliotech. So yeah, I haven't really gone on my tractor a lot. I miss that time. Okay, enough of that. So, uh, what I'm going to go over today is um, my new purchase. Uh, desk, Mac, something I've made. And uh, yeah, go from there. So, uh, let's start with the new Mac. Cheers. Well, I'm disappointed. I'd gone through everything, all my notes, to realize it wasn't recording. And it was one take. Ooh. So now I gotta start over. <laughs> so, um, where was I? Um, so yeah, we were gonna talk about my, uh, my purchase. And I decided to go with the MacBook, uh, uh, the Mac Studio, uh, the base model, and it's got 32 gigs of RAM and um, 512 gigs of, uh, uh, of SSD storage. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I had previously purchased the uh, MacBook Air, the M2, the newer model that came out last summer with 16 gigs of RAM and 30, uh, 512 gigs of uh, storage. And um, um, I kind of realized that I didn't need the portability of the uh, MacBook Air. And um, so, uh, um, and also one day I had it plugged in to my monitor with this in one of the ports, which there's only two on the MacBook Air. 
and um, took some video with my uh, DJI and I wanted to use this little thumb card reader which is a uh, USB-A and USB-C on the other end with my little card and I was trying to fit it in the open port beside this plug. It wouldn't fit. I couldn't get it in. So um, I decided to start looking around for uh, what they call hubs or docks. I think the hubs are more like a dongle type. And again, I'm no technical expert here. And uh, the docks are more like a fixed box that you can put anywhere. So I um, started looking at that and uh, uh, the MacBook Air has Thunderbolt 4 uh, in the ports. And I wanted to maximize the speed and uh, even though my SSDs are at 1050 megabit per second, something like that. Um, I know I'm not at the speed of Thunderbolt, but I wanted to maximize that speed. And um, I finally found something that would have given me something decent, uh, which was the CalDigit TS4. Again, not sponsored. And um, that's like 550, 560 Canadian. So then I started doing the math, uh, the price of the MacBook Air, the price of the CalDigit. I bought this also and um, started looking at this. And there was a refurb model at a, a good price. And um, I decided to inquire on whether I could return my MacBook Air. And during the holidays, if you buy from between November 4th and uh, I think December 22nd or something like that at the Apple store, um, you have a uh, longer period to uh, return uh, your item. And I think it was up until January 8th. And I was inquiring this on January 6th. So uh, when I found out that I could return it, I packed everything up, put it back in a box, it's wrapper, everything and uh, headed out to the uh, Apple store. And I finally decided to buy the um, new one, not the refurb one. And um, now I have all the ports that I need. And it's even stronger, like more powerful uh, than the MacBook Air because it's got the M1 Max chip in there. And is it overkill for my needs? Um, I would say yes. No. I would say yes. No. Um, yes. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, I'm really satisfied with this so far. And now, like I said, I have all my uh, hard drives. I've got two Samsung T7 500 gigs, a blue and a red one. Uh, that one will be for pictures, one will be for music. And I have a SanDisk Extreme uh, with two terabytes. And I have a Western Digital uh, My Book for Mac, which was used on uh, this Mac. And that's a three terabyte, but it's a regular USB, so the speed isn't that great. But I'll probably use it as my backup uh, drive. And this is my original Mac that I purchased in 2009, uh, 2008. Uh, it's a 2008 uh, iMac, uh, 20 inch, uh, which I love, and we're in 2022 and still uh, working. Uh, the only thing I was getting some beach balls, which means it was working harder. And um, I got some cleanup to do on stuff before I really uh, remove it from there. Let's move on to number two, the uh, monitor. Uh, this is the Samsung M8 monitor. Um, decided to buy this, and I guess when I bought it, the stars were aligned for me because <laughs> um, it was regular. When it came out in Canada, it was like $8.99. Uh, I saw it on uh, some uh, like Best Buy, $5.99, and then I noticed this site, uh, Canada Computers. Um, it was price drop, $3.99. I said, wow, for this color, the blue. So um, go on the site, put it into the basket. Then there's a, I noticed there's a 
click coupon, I click the coupon, the first hundred purchase, they get a hundred dollars off. So it's two ninety nine plus tax, so around three fifty Canadian for like a now it's nine hundred dollars on their site. It's a 32 inch monitor, 4K, 60 hertz refresh. Um, I want to turn on. Did I turn it on? Yes. Um, there you go. Uh, colors are really nice. Um, so far, I'm, it's a matte finish, so there's less glare, but I'm, I'm really satisfied with this. What I've had the money bought the uh, studio display? Yeah, if I had the money. <laughs> Lottery money. <laughs> but $2,000 Canadian for a monitor? Like I know the build quality, like everybody says on the internet, uh, it's all aluminum uh, studio display. This is all plastic. Uh, you know, it shakes a lot. Uh, but now that I have a more stable desk than what I had previously, it's a lot less noticeable. And it's got a cool little um, a camera, which is, check this out, detachable. So if you don't want it, you just take it off. And if you do, just put it back on. Voila. And if you want privacy, you got a nice little cover. Now, one thing that I have noticed, um, I have it connected to my Mac via the HDMI port. And if I have a FaceTime call that comes in, it doesn't recognize the connection. I have to take the USB-C connection and plug it in one of these ports in front, or I might in the future uh, just take this instead of the HDMI and plug it in the back. Um, so yeah, this is the monitor which is pretty nice. Um, one thing I forgot to mention on this monitor is um, with the remote, I can go and hit the home button and then I can go to media and it acts like a TV. I've got Netflix, I've got Prime, Disney, Apple TV, YouTube. Um, you just click, select your channel, and off you go. You can watch your uh, your shows or whatever movie. Also, um, you don't really need a PC, um, uh, a workspace. There. Um, to the web, you can go to Microsoft 365 if you have an account, and you can work on your documents. So you don't need a, a physical uh, PC to go do some work. You can do a um, a Zoom call or a Teams call or whatever, whatever the application is used here. Um, so yeah, um, some great functionality out of this uh, this monitor. So what's my next review? Okay, my next review is the IKEA I Idasen Idasen desk I D A S E N. Um, I purchased the top at the uh, IKEA store in Ottawa uh, because they didn't have the legs in stock and uh, they didn't know when they were going to get them and finally I uh, spotted some at the IKEA in Montreal so Boxing Day my wife and I went for a drive to Montreal and went to uh, buy the legs uh, now one thing uh, warning when you do install the top to the legs on this model and probably a lot of the tops that IKEA make because we all know it's not real wood. <laughs> it's probably veneer here on the top, but in the middle it's cardboard. Um, the inserts are plastic and I was putting in one of the screws and I just like, turn and, and the screwdriver went this way and the screw and it cracked the insert. And I wasn't able anymore to screw the screw it in, so um, I had to do a repair job already on a new top, which wasn't so bad. I had to put some glue and try and put those small pieces back together, which I was able to, and now it's uh, pretty solid. I do have this from IKEA also. This is the Elopen uh, monitor stand. Comes in white or black. Again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. 
Um, these are ideas I've picked up on some of the uh, YouTube channels that talk about their desk setup. And um, that's what I went with. It's nice, nice little storage. And when I'm not using the keyboard, it fits underneath. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, the direction I'm going with this uh, little um, creative lab. No, I can't use that. Uh, creative Adobe? No, not Adobe. Uh, abode. Creative Abode. Uh, yeah, maybe. Because <laughs> I can't call it a workspace. Uh, I'm retired. I don't work anymore. This is fun space. Yeah, maybe fun space. Yeah. Anyways, so, um, so that's the desk. Really satisfied with it. It looks pretty good too. And this is a mat, a vegan leather mat that I got from Amazon, made by Nordic. And I'll put a link in the description. Um, also, now to my shelf here. Um, as I was watching those videos, uh, some had some really nice setups. And uh, some of them have products made by Balolo, which I believe is a German company. And uh, they had a unit that is pretty flexible. It had all of these screw inserts and you could position all sorts of stuff, a uh, support for your iPad, for your MacBook, for your phone, and then you can add the MagSafe to it. And uh, it was all pretty nice. And again, dollars. Uh, there's another company called Grovemade, uh, they're out of Portland, I believe, and um, I decided I didn't really want to spend money on that, so uh, I decided to go with the Luke Made, <laughs> which is, I made it, and again, it's not the finished product, uh, I uh, did this really quickly. It was the day before a big 20 inch storm. It was a Thursday. Um, I pulled my planer out, my table saw, I grabbed the board out of the shed, and uh, this is cherry. Ran it through the planer, table saw, and uh, I'll show you uh, a bit more uh, close ups of what it looks like. There's even burn marks from the, uh, uh, the saw blade. And I don't mind, there's a knot here, but it's, I think it's the board I'll be using to finish it, uh, probably beginning of the summer when we can have the garage door open and just, you know, take everything outside, sand it down instead of putting all the dust in the garage <coughs> at this time of the year. But it, it's doing a great job right now as it is. So uh, that's a Luke made uh, desk shelf. Um, what else? Oh, I did add a, um, a one meter LED light in the back from Ikea. And uh, I guess the next item we need to do here is repaint this room. For us, it's going to be a nice spot where uh, we'll probably get a nice little lounge chair with a lamp. So if I'm working on something, a video or whatever, my wife can be up here also and she could read a book on her tablet or whatever. So uh, yeah, so I used to use this iPad Air 4. It's only 64 gigs, so I always have to manage my, my videos so that it, I can load whatever I'm, I'm recording. And uh, now uh, with this and the 512 and the other drives that I have separately, I won't have that issue. And I could even start my project on the iOS version of iMovie, which by the way, it's a, a reduced version on the iOS of iMovie compared to uh, the OS version of uh, iMovie. So I can't wait to start playing around with that one because uh, there's more, more functionality that I'll be able to probably incorporate into my videos. Uh, I guess the next step up to that would be the Final Cut Pro. And um, maybe one day, I don't know, I'll start with the uh, iMovie OS version. But uh, yeah, so this is my setup. Uh, earlier I mentioned uh, Bibliotech. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, 
it was a commercial that was uh, run by a, a supermarket called A and P here in uh, in Canada, and uh, <laughs> it's a funny take on the French language a bit, uh, where he thinks uh, the uh, bakery manager thinks he's talking in French, speaking in French, and uh, he isn't. He's pulling out some words, yes, but. Uh, uh, anyways, I'll put the link if I can find it in the description. Go have a look at it. I think you'll have a good laugh. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's my setup. Uh, no snow, so I'm not doing any any snow videos. And I thought I'd give you a uh, overview of my new setup for the uh, fun space. My new Mac monitor, shelf I made, Luke made. And uh, yeah, so if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like everybody says, it's free, doesn't cost anything. And um, yeah, I guess we'll get you. Well, blah, 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 blah. Jeez, at the end, I get the. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And why not share it with your friends? It's free, eh, by the way, subscribing. And uh, I want to take the opportunity to thank a lot of new subscribers and my old subscribers for all your support. Uh, past, I'd say, month and a half, uh, I think, since I crossed the 2,000 subscribers, uh, it just went uh, pretty sharp and crazy. It was good. And uh, I also, saw a video by uh, Courtney at uh, Goodworks Tractor. He uh, played a clip of me doing my maintenance on my snowblower. And uh, I sent him a message saying, thanks a lot, really appreciate that for the shout out. And he replied, says, my pleasure. And he says, folks, if you don't know his channel, go have a look at his channel. And he probably has one of the cleanest Kubotas. <laughs> so I guess I have a reputation of having a clean Kubota. So, uh, Courtney, thanks again for that shout out. And uh, the channel's been doing great. I think I'm almost at 2,400 now uh, subscribers. And uh, again, I'm having fun and it's keeping me busy. So, uh, if you like, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I guess we'll catch you in the next one. So, take care, stay safe, and bye for now.